Okay. Um, I'm basically using a screen recorder program to record the video of my screen and I'm using Audacity which is a free and open source uh, audio recording program that is very powerful. They have it for Linux, Windows and the Mac I do believe. Um, I basically will have to put the audio and the video together into something that you can play with a player and hear and see everything at the same time of course. To do that I will use the OpenShot video editing software which is also free and open source. Um, basically I'm currently booted into Manjaro Linux and it is currently my favorite Linux distribution. Um, and it's not just because of this pretty desktop picture that I think is so cute. Um, basically it has a taskbar menu bar at the bottom um, that you can add items to. It hides when you have windows open. Um, everything seems to work very well. Um, I've had a few minor issues but it's not anything that I can't <clears throat> get around. One of the main things I like about it is the control panel or they call it control center. When you click on that it, it brings this little side window open. It tells you the date, the time here. Here's where you can personalize it for yourself. Uh, you can set up your display. Uh, you can set up default applications. Uh, here you can pick a theme. Um, for example, right now I've got um, Vertex Maya Dark selected. However, let's go ahead and open up. Uh, let's open up my browser. Get it over here out of the way. Uh, if I were to watch, well, that may not work because Chromium has its own theme. This may not change that. Let's close. Now let's minimize this and let's open up my Audacity again. I know that uses the system themes. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had allergies really bad the last couple of days. But for example, here you could pick a different theme. Uh, let's say Vertex Maya Light and you will see how it changes your theme. But I like the dark theme. Uh, down here you pick the icons that you want uh, for the main system type uh, icons. And below that is your cursor themes. You can pick different cursor themes. Anyway, themes is one area that you can select. Here it's got um, Bluetooth, sound, all kinds of everything that you want to change is on this control panel pretty much. And there's three pages of them. One, two, three. Now one thing I have not figured out yet, I've got it keyed to Round Rock where I live, but I haven't figured out how to change it to Fahrenheit. But if, in case you want to know, it's sunny and 8 degrees centigrade here in Round Rock right now. Here you can set your volume, you set your screen brightness. Um, and let's see what's on that last third page. Oh yeah, those are system messages. Um, two, page one. Um, here's information, for example. Uh, it's got some keyboard information, caps lock, blah, 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 blah. Look at it. There's a lot of information here. It tells you I'm running Manjaro Linux uh, version 17.1.6. I'm running the 15.5 desktop. It's 64-bit. Here's my processor. How much memory I've got. Disk. The boot menu. Edition license. It's got the license agreement, basically. <laughs> Um, and then I can go back. Uh, I could set the time. Here's battery information. There's my network. There's Bluetooth. Here's my mouse. There's keyboard. I really like the control center being here 
very easy to get to to change things. Um, what I use here, this is the Chromium browser. It's basically an open source version of uh, Google Chrome. And of course, I've signed into it. I've got all my bookmarks synced. When I uh, use Google Chrome uh, on Windows, they're all synced. Um, I've also got the Firefox browser loaded, but I prefer, especially on Linux, I prefer to use Chrome. Uh, on Windows, it's half and half, but they're all synced. You know, Firefox syncs their bookmarks and the user information just like Chromium does. Uh, basically, you can do pretty much anything you want with Linux that you can do in Windows and it's free and it's open source and it's there's all kinds of information on the internet on how to set things up you just have to know how to search for it um, for email I use the Thunderbird email browser uh, it's as good as in my opinion Microsoft Outlook however there are a few things I guess in Outlook that are better um, it's a little easier to search for emails and stuff in Outlook, but you can search here as well. Um, what I like though is it's got a calendar tab that I've set up here, and I've got this synced to my Google Calendar. So I can, and I've also got Google Calendar on my iPhone. I can update my calendar I can add appointments uh, and it syncs between any computer that I'm using Thunderbird that I've got the calendar set up on it syncs with my iPhone it syncs with Google Calendar on their web version of Google Calendar um, so there's really no excuse for not trying out Linux if you are any sort of a technical person that's curious about learning and doing different things than just paying for Windows or paying for the Mac which is a lot more expensive alright on that note I'm gonna go ahead and close this down and see if I can put this together in a video in OpenShot.